Well, respected teachers, judges, and my dear friends, today we all have gathered here for an exciting competition, which is budding scientists for session 2021 to 2022. An experiment is a question which science possesses to nature, and a measurement is the recording of nature's answer. A warm good morning to our future scientists and their guide, our respected teachers. The science of today is the technology of tomorrow and this would only be succeeded by the cooperation of our honorable principal, Sister Rekha and the judges, Mr. Shalini Ma'am, Mrs. Rashmi Ma'am and Mr. Anil Sir with the organizing committee of Mrs. Reena Ma'am, Mrs. Nisha Ma'am and Mrs. Neha Ma'am. All experiments are learning experiences even when they don't go as planned. So don't cry at first, you will definitely get success at last. because. Everything is theoretically impossible until it is done. So, without letting our scientists wait, let's start this competition. Hello everyone, I am Anjali Singha of class 9th A. This is the working model of an earthquake alarm. It is made of the following components. A battery, a switch, a buzzer, a safety pin and a nut dropped from a copper wire which is connected with the buzzer and the safety pin is connected with the battery. Now, when an earthquake will come, then the nut will start shaking and it will touch the safety pin and hence the circuit will get completed. Now, the buzzer will start producing an alarm which will detect the earthquake. Now, let's assume that the shaking of the cardboard refers to an earthquake. Now, when the nut stops shaking, the buzzer also stops producing the alarm. This device is very useful in detecting earthquakes and getting prepared for that. Thank you. Dear teachers, my name is Akshat Sahai from Class 9th A and today I am here to show my project which is a live fire. So live fire, what is live fire? How does it work? Li-Fi is a wireless communication technology which utilizes light to transmit data and position between devices. So the materials which are required to make Li-Fi are an aux cable, an LED light, a solar panel, a battery and a 220 ohm resistor. So how does Li-Fi work? Here, when you play music, the signals of music passes all the way to the through this aux cable to the uh, connection. Here the, connect, here the aux cable is connected to a bulb and 220 ohm resistor and the 220 ohm resistor's other side is connected to the battery clip. So when we put clip in our battery, the light blows up and when we play the music, it, the music, the signals of music passes all the way through light to the solar panel and solar panel gathers the data, transmitted data and passes it to the, through the speaker and when I put my hands in between the music stops playing which proves that this project is real. This was my project. Thank you. My name is Abhinav Josh Matthews. Today I'm going to show you how to make a lava lamp. So for this activity you need a jar, baking soda, vinegar, vegetable oil and food oil. I'll start by adding 2 tablespoons of baking soda. Now I'm going to add vegetable oil. Wow. 
vinegar and food color into the bowl and mix it. to add this mixture into a jar. So, let's have a demonstration of it. If you press the button, the car starts to move and if we release, it stops. So, when we talk about the working up of this model, it's based on the principle of infrared light. When we press the button of the remote, it emits a signal. This signal is received by the IRC. It encodes a message and sends it to the transistor. The transistor decodes the message and allows the flow of the current. The flow of the current leads up to the working up of the car. So, why am I this Nowadays, technology is too much improved. Technology has a great influence and impact on our life from adolescents to children, all from under the system. Nowadays, children want advanced toys to live in. So, keeping in mind this thought and later. It is very easy to deal with and children can have a great fun by playing with this. Thank you. Cheers, I am Sana from Plus 10A and today I am going to show you my working model of art in which I tell you what binary art piece and piece etc. So let's get started. As you can see when a kava, when a kava is the largest vein in our body and it carries the deoxygenated blood and when it, when it enters in heart, it goes first in right atrium then it goes in right ventricle and then it goes to uh, lungs to give the CO2. And then from pulmonary veins, uh, oxygenated blood enters in our heart and then through aorta, it is transported through all parts of our body. So I, I will show you moving uh, blood. So can you see this? Hey everyone, this is Neh Pratik of class 10th D and I am here to present a project on the topic hologram. So let's turn off the light.
everyone. Today, I am going to show you some of my projects. The first one is a volume controller in which you can control the volume of your real system using your gesture of your hands. I request you to have your eyes at the bottom right corner for my system's volume. It is currently 10%. This model uses deep learning so that it can learn from itself and also machine learning for processing. It uses Python in front hand for the various processes. Pure Python is used and C++ at the back hand. For so it's here. I request you to have your eyes at the bottom right corner. It's currently 0%, so let me increase it. So this is my hand, uh, it is tracking my hands, and yeah, it goes to 100%. I can, my second hand is the hero, so it's working. So let me put it to 0, 0, 100, 0. 100, 0, 100. So it's my system's real volume. So let me make it nearly 50, yeah, 30, 50. Like this, I can control my system's real volume using my hands. This is mute. So it's zero percent. That means it's muted. It's hundred percent. Thank you. So, my next project is AI Painter. This project is made in my, keeping in mind teachers. So, let me show it to you. In this, you can paint on the screen that is on a canvas, canvas which is a type of a blackboard, and it uses your hands and fingers for processing it. It has eraser, all type of brushes that can be used. It has three colors with which you can paint. And it also has thickness. You can measure the thickness using your fingers. So for example, it's like this. So my default thickness is this. And I want to make it small. <coughs> now, increase the thickness more and yeah it's painting and you can go to selection mode using your two fingers in which you can select the thickness with the distance this rectangle refers to the thickness how much thick you want so it runs at a real time 30 fps which is frames per second so with this i can select any color for example blue it's blue, let me get green, it's green, let me increase the thickness, let me middle the thickness, it's thick, it's normal, with this you can even control your thickness, I want to paint brush too, and you can see my name, path, I've put it in, and it's clean, I have an eraser, I want to erase it out, so like this, Days, but I don't want to erase all of them again and again using this big eraser. So what I'll do, I'll paint, for example, there's this, this, it has a black board, like this on which you can draw this, and let me make it this much thick, this much thick, this, this, and it is now this much thick. Now, what I want is to clear this all. So, my fingers are clear on. Like this. This is an AI painter. And you can, as you can see, I can even manage the thickness using my fingers. It is very easy to draw on this. Anyways. 
थैंक यू ना माय नेक्स्ट प्रोजेक्ट इज अ एआई माउस इन विच यू कैन यूज योर फिंगर्स टू कंट्रोल द माउस विदाउट टचिंग द टच पैड इट्स रियल माउस ऑफ अ रियल कंप्यूटर दैट इज माय कंप्यूटर एंड इट यूजेस द पेंटर थिंग दैट आई हैव शोड यू जस्ट नाउ uses geometric progression for the sum of all the points and painting it yeah so this is my mouse as you can see uh have a look in at my this mouse and now this my second hand is here i can Well, let me. I can even have a click. This is great. So if I get my two fingers, and one more thing, that if I go down, for example, it automatically has a click because most probably when we are at the task manager, we want a click. So it automatically clicks when it gets the task manager. Like this, and you can click with two fingers. For example, let me click it. You make it smooth. And yeah. So, up this up. I'll go down. Click. Click. Automatically, it click. For example, I click down. and it automatically click here yes as you have seen it click when i get i didn't have a single two fingers up so it click automatically oh so let me close this and here and yeah and says that at a real time 30 fps now my next is a notepad in notepad we what we have think what we do in notepad we just write save open and click new so all these thing can be done here and all the shortcut keys work here for example path hi 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 and so what i want is i don't want to write this so first thing that came in our mind is copy paste so for example i got this copy paste 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 file i can have an kindly see its name is presently untitled and i want to save it with the name project so a dialog box will appear here yes and you can see its round corners Okay, so now let me put it as project, and it's an object that takes. I want a new, and it has a scroll bar also here. When, for example, p p p p p, and I put enter enter and p p p, and you have seen a scroll bar comes here. Help, which really scrolls. Help about notepad. Notepad. You can pass it in in class tenth, and then it completes all works. And, uh, open. For example, I want to open it. So I can open also. I can open any file which is even not made in this. But you can look at it that I've saved. And yeah, it's good. Thank you. These are the projects that I'm doing.